Welcome to FoodFacts.com. This is Food Facts TV. I'm Cassie Berry. And I'm not too happy with the Happy Meal. It's been in the news a lot lately. For starters, the Center for Science and the Public Interest is taking up a cause against McDonald's, saying they are marketing unfairly and deceptively to young children. Well, they do put toys in here, but that's nothing new. What I want to talk about is what I just discovered on the British McDonald's website about these puppies, the chicken nuggets. Well, let me tell you, the British site doesn't have any of the preservatives that I found in the American menu, and they say that their chicken nuggets are prepared in the restaurant with non-hydrogenated vegetable oils, where ours, on the other hand, are prepared way in advance, so they're loaded with preservatives. And they're made with oils, including hydrogenated soybean oils, which equals trans fat. The preservatives I'm worried about are TBHQ and citric acid. Some people who have a reaction to MSGs have a reaction to citric acid. And TBHQ, it's not good. Let me try to pronounce the real word for TBHQ. Uh, Terrestriary butyl hydroquinone. It's a petroleum based product that's restricted in many countries. It can cause nausea, vomiting, ringing in the ears, delirium, and a sense of suffocation and collapse. Boo. So I don't think we should be putting it in our foods. Plus, the American nuggets have ugh, another big word I can't read. Dime thigh polysiloxin. It's a foaming agent that is used and it can cause sensitivity and nausea and diarrhea. Ugh. And guess what else that's in? Silly putty. Yeah, the same ingredients that are in chicken nuggets happen to be in silly putty. How does that make sense? Let me tell you guys something. If this was the Revolutionary War again, Britain would be kicking our butts. They've made some food changes over there, and these fast food companies have had to abide by that still we let go on, no problem in America, and nobody even stops to think about it. So let's think before we start eating fast food, and maybe we should be making chicken nuggets at home from scratch. Check out foodfacts.com for ways to do that.